Hey guys, I actually got this uh, question sent to me earlier today and um, I was sitting there going, oh, it's probably just easier to explain this over a video uh, rather than trying to type it up. So I thought I might as well record this. Now, the question was quite simple. Um, you know, you've got two equations of the line. Uh, which one do you actually use? Uh, is one of them better to use and whatnot? All right. Now let's say this is the, um, uh, let's say we've got a gradient of two and let's say we've got a point 513. So with this in mind, um, you know, you can kind of use both of these equations. Um, it just depends on the situation of what you prefer. So it really doesn't matter. So the first way I'm going to do is I'm going to show the left-hand side, which is the y minus y1, kind of that whole shebang. So what I'm going to call this is I'm going to put this as x1 and y1. Um, and basically, uh, then I'm going to get y minus y1, which happens to be 13, equals m, which happens to be 2. And then we've got x minus x1, which happens to be 5. All right, so we've got y minus 13 is equal to, we're going to expand the brackets here. So 2 times x and 2 times negative 5, which means we're going to get 2x minus 10. Rearranging this, we're going to get y equals to 2x minus 10, uh, 13. When it comes over here to the other side, it becomes plus 13. So we're going to get y is equal to 2x plus 3. All right, now using the same idea, if we were to use the y equals mx plus c formula, um, then what we're going to get is we know that y is equal, so we're going to kind of do this actually. We're going to put x as 5, y as 13 which means we're going to get 13 equals m, which happens to be 2, x is equal to 5, and plus c. So in this case, we're going to get 13 equals 10 plus c. Um, of course, we are getting rid of the 10 to the other side. We're going to get 13 minus 10 is equal to c, and c is equal to positive 3. So all this means is that you've got this one extra step that you need to do, which means you're going to get y is equal to 2x plus 3. So it doesn't matter which one you actually use to find the equation of the line, it just works out better. Now in saying that, um, we tend to use this a lot more, um, especially at level 2 and level 3 calc, because um, when you start dealing with variables, um, using um, that formula on the yellow highlighted box generally is just a, a lot more easier to work with. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, as always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Um, and as always, thank you for watching.